Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. Recently, the departments of HHS, DOL, Treasury, and OPM put out a request for information back in June asking specific stakeholders to comment on their rulemaking process under the CAA. So you'll remember last year, at the end of the year, Congress voted and passed the CAA Consolidated Appropriations Act and it had numerous requirements in there that were put on sponsors of employee benefit plans. And so issuers, meaning carriers, as well as self-funded plans will be required to submit specific information with regard to their prescription drug plans. So pricing on prescription drugs, annual spend, and things like that. Now, typically, the employer themselves does not have access to this information because a lot of times the PBMs and other health plans, whoever is managing the prescription drug benefit, that is seen as proprietary. And so a lot of times there, that type of information isn't available for the employer to just send into a governmental agency. And so they've asked for information and ERIC, the um, ERISA plans and Mercer, have, they have put out a comment letter along with 61 other stakeholders have put in comment letters related to this request for information. And so I'll just read a bit from Eric's letter that says that employers do not have total access to the information required by this new rule. They would be reliant on their PBMs to provide the information about prescriptions filled through the pharmacy benefit managers. So basically it goes on to ask for a delay and for some sort of leniency with regard to this rule. So we'll see more coming as a result of this RFI because they are the ones that, that are asking for the information. So the comment period has passed, but again, many, many health plans, um, CVS Caremark, many other stakeholders, even individual people um, submitted comment letters with regard to this requirement. So hopefully we'll see some onus put on the actual PBMs themselves, um, if that's allowed under the law, we'll see. But um, this is definitely in development and we will keep you posted on any requirements that relate to um, employers and employee benefit plans. So thanks so much for watching and have a great week.